Hey guys, Peter Pro here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're just going to be going over all of the music thingies I have. Yes. You can call it a rig rundown or whatever they do, uh, but I don't exactly know what that means. Uh, let's just get started. Alright, we're going to do from this guitar to this guitar and then just work our way around the room from there. Alright, starting with this one. This is my first guitar. It's a Red Jackson. I don't know the complete specs on it, but it's a pretty good guitar. Let me grab a pick here. Uh, but uh, I use Snark tuners, all these great stuff. Um, I, yeah, I don't really, I don't really know. I'm not really qualified to do this. I just saw videos on YouTube, and I, I just decided to do one. So I'm not really qualified to do any of this, uh, but. Yeah, it's a pretty good guitar. I've, I had the strings changed, I think, eight months ago, so I guess they need to be changed a little bit. Here's a little look at the back side. Or a look back at the front. You don't really get a good look there because I've had it hanging down. Um, but I just got like the regular straps. Nothing too fancy. Not, I don't even think this one has like the, the labels on it. But yeah, it's a little bit dusty. I'm gonna set your follower far away. Uh, otherwise, you can see that this is kind. Of, this is very dusty, holy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's just pretty much it for this guitar. All right, up next is gonna be uh, my one and only bass. Uh, this is a, just your standard Squire. Uh, you got the uh, regular frets, regular everything. Obviously, it's black. Uh, it's a jazz bass, Squire Fender, obviously. Uh, I haven't I haven't changed the strings yet since I got it in my birthday, which is August 2019, I think. So the strings are a little bit worn out, but hey, it's fine. But uh, you got four knobs here. And then the pickups, uh, <laughs> my bridge keeps on getting really loose, but here it is from the back end. Here's the neck from the back. And you can see like the, the tuning looks really cool. It's like almost like, it makes me think of like some sort of like machines. I also use a pick, so you can sue me if you want. <laughs> Alright, so these last two, uh, like I, I showed you, I got a while ago. This is my first guitar, like the three quarters Jackson, Fred Jackson. This is my first bass, jazz bass in 2019. But this one I got this year from my cousin. So thanks uh, for this one. It's probably, probably one of my favorite pieces of instruments. One of my favorite instruments that I own. Oh wow, that's really odd tune. That sounds great. <laughs> but it's just a Epiphone, sort of Les Paul thing. You got going on. You got the rhythm and treble stuff. I usually use uh, my beginner guitar. You can't really see it. My beginner guitar uh, for more rhythm based stuff. And this one for more, you know, solo y stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty great uh, guitar, like I said. Ooh, it's a special model. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm learning this as you are. I never really stopped to look at any of this stuff. Um, yeah, uh, so the three quarters, uh, it's got a, li a little beat up down here, bass, a little bit of smudges over here. This one, uh, has, has some damage too, but I don't even know if I did it. <laughs> it might have been my cousin's, I don't even know. Uh, I don't even think you can see it. Hang on. <laughs> uh, right there around the input. Yeah. Alright, up next we got our picks and amps, PA system, tambourine, why not, and different types of chords, mics, USB stick, pretty much everything except for the keyboard. Uh, so pretty much, alright, let's start with picks, just like regular, like, standard picks, 1.0 millimeter, let's get that in focus. Okay, I guess it's not focusing. USA 1.0 millimeter, how cool is that? <laughs> Uh, pretty much all my picks are flat, except for one, so that's fun. Alright, so now this is probably the best thing I have in my little music setup. 
I have here. Um, all right, I guess we'll just go over here. Obviously, you got your inputs, you got your gain. As you can see, you got it all the way up. Um, the different channels for distortion, for lead, and then to, for rhythm and clean stuff. Um, obviously, you got all this stuff. I don't really know what this does. Um, and then you don't even need on. You don't even need a what's it called? Uh, you don't even need a. I, the uh, adapter stuff for to connect a headphone or anything. Uh, here's the power. Uh, I never really heard of the uh, company Acoustic, but this is a pretty decent app. Um, you know, you always are familiar with like Fender and such. Uh, but I mean, I have another amp. Uh, which has like 49 sounds, but I only used, I pretty much only used like two of them. I only used, you know, your regular distortion and your clean. Alright, uh, now we're going to go on to the Behringer PA system. This is what I use for all my mic stuff. A uh, lot of buttons, Bluetooth, USB stick for wireless play. Uh, here's the wired stuff. Charger on and off button. Uh, main volume, one of these is bass, one of these is treble, uh, mic 2 volume, what, no, mic 2 volume, mic 1 volume, and then just aux volume from, I guess, the wired mics, I don't know. I use, I use wired mics, as you could probably have told. Um, but this is a pretty good PA system. Uh, my, yeah, I'll, I'll tell that later. <laughs> but, uh, it's got a few close calls. I, I think I dropped it almost down the stairs once. But we're still living. We're still here being PA speakered. There's a bird. Anyways, up to. Sorry, there was a phone call. But, anyways, uh, we'll just move on to, I guess, the tambourine. As you can probably tell, you know, not seeing the brightest of days. We got two bells missing. And then, like, just like marks all throughout it. Really a horrible looking instrument right here. Uh, and it's made in Thailand. How about that? You can't even see it. Can you? Not really. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, I've been I've been using this quite a lot. Uh, can you, like, shut up? <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's your regular tambourine. I, I don't like to stick it out the handle, actually. This has kind of been a pleasure for me now that the bells are gone. So I just, like, hold it from here. And it's, I seem to get like a lot more pressure on it. So, all right. So I'll do, I'll do this. I'll do this side first. So, see, it's harder to get those faster sounds. But if you go, see, it's easier to get those faster steps or noise. All right. Uh, now we're gonna go from the USB stick and microphones that are connected to the PA system here. Alright, this is your Ultralink ULM200M. There you go. This is just a volume thing and turn on button. Two double the, uh, double A's. Made in China, blah blah blah. Just like your regular microphones. It's pretty good. Uh, obviously you got another one here. And, I don't know, you can make up maybe an amp or a keyboard. And then, yourself. But, yeah, those are pretty useful. Okay, next up you got the USB stick. As you can see, I've kind of slanted this a bit already. I don't even really know how that happened. Because I'm trying to take care of good, the good care of this stuff. But, it's the Ultralink ULM 200D Behringer. Uh, it's pretty cool stuff. Digital wireless. Yep. You can, it connects to the PA system as well. Um, and this is kind of the key to pretty much making the entire PA system work. You got the microphones, PA system, and everything else. But this is what is the key, pretty much, really. Uh, so that's like what brings everything together. Um, this key is pretty much, yeah, the key to everything, like I said. Uh, but I, I had a different one, and it broke. Uh, long story, so it just, it pretty much just broke. It hit. Um, so I, I got a, I got a different one. Uh, this is just a yeah, different one. I did have two other uh, microphones that, for some reason, can't work with a different USB stick, which is insanely annoying. But we'll move uh, past that to 
more stuff that no one really knows anything about. Yeah, just like regular cord stuff, really. I mean, like, you got the charger for the PA system and for the and the controller for the amp and then your average USB stick. I mean, yeah, this stuff is great, really. Uh, I've been using it since I got this guitar. Uh, all right, now it's the last uh, and probably most interesting piece. We got the Yamaha, is there any specs here? YP2-220, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's got loads of voices and noises. You know, you got all the stuff here. Uh, Rue, <laughs> that's, that's everything you need. But uh, I have this connected to a six double A, so I'm sacrificing all this battery power just for you guys. So that's why you should subscribe. But you know, no, uh, yeah, it, it, it requires six double A's to be like this without anything in the jack here. Uh, usually I just use it like that. This is actually my first time using the regular batteries. Um, but still a still a good keyboard. I've had this is the instrument I think I've had for the longest amount of time. My brother used a little bit, but not really much. None of us really used it a lot until, like, I started using it, like, two years ago. But, yeah, it's a pretty great keyboard. You have different voices up to, I think, 375. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Which is a firework, so. There you go. Happy 4th of July, even though I'm not even filming this on the 4th of July. It's Saturday, July 10th. Um, but... I guess I'll just go through some of my favorite noises before I talk about one of the most annoying parts. That's not really the keyboard's fault and mine, but here we got sort of a metallic piano, the regular piano, and we're gonna jump up to... Actually, we'll go to the organs. This is my favorite organ. The draw organ kind of got like a mystery quality to it. You know. Um, uh, we'll go up a little bit to the bases. This is probably my favorite bass, as you can, as you can probably tell. I, I like Mason bass, so here's a little bit of bass for you guys. There you go, amazing stuff. Um, I guess we got the string section. You got all that stuff there. Uh, I just like your regular strings. And I just really like how many sounds you can get out of this. We're gonna go to the synth brass. This is probably something I use for a lot more than the other stuff, just because I'm into that sort of synth lead stuff, you know? All right, we got synth brass too. I never use this one, but there you go. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna go to the big boys. This is the stuff I use all the time. Not so much this one, but the other two. I'll show you in a second. Uh, this is a square land. I used to use this all the time before I discovered other synths on this. But, you know, here's some song that you probably won't, won't recognize. I messed that up so bad, but yeah, there you go. If you know, you know it. Um, this is the Solid. I don't really know what any of these names mean, <laughs> but more of a, you know, crazy quality instead of like the clean versions. Got a little bit of distortion, you know, a lot of stuff going on there. That was the synth I used uh, for so many times, so yeah. Alright, uh, now we're gonna just go to the, you know, synth lead we got here, bass and lead. I really use this one, but I'm probably gonna, once I get to start writing my own music. Alright, so yeah. Just like a bass lead. I'm not really using this much, but you got like the leads here, you know, like... Good stuff for that. Alright, so now we're gonna go to probably my favorite synth thing, just because it's everything in one package. You know, you can play your bass stuff, it can replace a bass altogether if you want. And it has a stupid name. <laughs> but it's probably my favorite synth um, in the package, it's probably my favorite sound in the, in the keyboard. Um, and it can also play the, you know, the higher stuff like... 
like stuff like that. Just like anything, you can do synth lead, synth bass, just pretty much everything in one package. It's probably my favorite. <laughs> My favorite song in the entire instrument, like I said. Um, right now we're gonna talk, go back to piano and talk about my dead key. Woo! We all love a dead key, especially when it's a note you use all the time, like an A note. You can see, like, you have to really press down for it to get a sound. Like for other ones, you can just do this, but when you do this one, no sounds. <laughs> but, you know, that's fine. It's totally not. Uh, that I use that note in pretty much everything that I've ever done. So, what's supposed to be but an octave higher becomes... What's that supposed to be? <laughs> Definitely not something that should go in a song. Um, but, uh, we're gonna go back to that synth I showed you earlier. Play some epic... Oh wait, it's a dead key. So it just completely messes up your entire song. Friggin... You have to friggin press down like a maniac to do it. And you can't even do such stuff like this. And you can't even do like... Cause if that happens, it just goes like... See? See the difference? And then it finally presses down here. I'm not trying to prove a point. <laughs> but, what a wonderful way to close out this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, everything that I showed you today. Maybe consider picking up some of the stuff. Uh, it's not if you're a professional type thing, but if you're maybe a beginner uh, and want to pick up some gear. I'd probably pick up the three quarters Jackson if you want to. Probably this keyboard because it opens you up to so many possibilities. Uh, and then just this stuff is all, 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 all amazing stuff. Uh, I don't really know these chords, uh, but you can get the Behringer PA system, acoustic stuff, um, mics here, USB stick. Uh, this bass is also a really good starter. You can even get like a precision bass if you want to, if you're into that sort of stuff. I sure am, but yeah, I mean, a jazz bass is probably better for your starter. Uh, but you can get a precision if that's like the only thing you're going to play. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys really enjoyed my stuff. Maybe consider picking up some of it. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much about it. See you later.